Grafting old grape vines will require scions of good quality varieties. The scions should be cut while dormant and kept in the fridge until they are used. Select scions that have big healthy buds for this chip budding technique. Since you will have to remove a wood chip, terminal buds and buds in bent locations will prove more difficult to use. The technique used for removing the chip is the same used for other fruit types. Grape science can be thin and fragile, so be sure to maintain a good control of the knife to avoid injuries. Check my video on the chip bud grafting technique in the channel if you need more information. Start by removing the old bark near the base of the grapevine you are going to graft. Graft below any developing buds that should be removed to avoid competition. Choose a healthy chip and remove it using the usual technique. The bottom angle cut opens the bark when the chip is inserted and ensures a good cambium contact point. Open a slot with a bottom bark flap in the graft location. Insert the chip into the slot, forcing it slightly under the flap of bark. Secure the chip firmly in place using a flexible tape or other suitable material. Leave the bud uncovered, but be sure no other points of possible dehydration remain. Perfume can be used to cover the bud, if needed, since it will break easily when the bud starts to grow. If you don't have parafilm, don't use plastic tapes. Just leave the bud uncovered. Three weeks after grafting, the bud is starting to grow. Four months after grafting. At this point, remove the remains of the tape and cut all branches that might still be growing above the graft. Tie the new growth so it doesn't break under strong winds. After one year, the new grafted variety is showing its first fruits. Unfortunately, the large flocks of starlings I have over here have eaten most of the grapes despite the protection and scare tactics I use. The new variety is quite tasty, despite not being fully ripe yet. Rootstocks have to be fully awake for this technique to work. Making the cuts and inserting the chip partially under the bark will be difficult if the sap is not in full flow. Be sure that no part of the chip is above the bark. Chips are very sensitive to dehydration. The main cause of problems is improper protection of the chip, which will cause graft failure. When grafting in late spring, a layer of parafilm will keep the moisture inside 
and prevent chips drying out. If there is excessive sap flow, make a shallow cut below the graft. This cut will remove some of the sap pressure, avoiding the possibility of ship failure due to graft drowning. When cutting above the graft, be sure to leave enough space so the rootstock drying out doesn't affect the graft. When grafting in early spring, other techniques can be quite effective. One of my favorites is the modified cleft graft. Check the channel for other videos with detailed information on this grafting technique. I like to insert two scions at each side of the rootstock to maximize graft success rate. In locations with heavy spring rains, a layer of pruning paste will help to keep water out of the graft area. Even when the two grafts are successful, it is always a good idea to cut the less developed graft, leaving a single growing branch. I'm currently working on several new videos that will be published soon. If you are interested in growing figs, these videos might provide some useful information. If you enjoy my work, you can easily help me to make more videos. Just click the like button, leave a comment and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and activate all notifications on your device so you don't miss my next videos. Thanks for watching.